All right, welcome back. We're back at it. And now uh, what we're doing today is we're gonna prepare some chicken, uh, some boneless um, diced up uh, sliced chicken, and uh, lemon, salt and pepper, uh, combined with uh, some mashed potatoes and some steamed uh, vegetables. And it's gonna be a little bit of a healthy alternative, a cheaper alternative to the regular fast food for you know, you and the kids. So we'll kind of show a little bit of a tutorial on how to prep or, or how I do it. I um, mean, as the, the rookie, the rookie cook. All right, so I'm um, already started um, heating up the the water. Now the water's gonna be for the mashed potatoes. I, I put some butter in there already, a little bit of salt. Uh, so once it starts boiling up, I would just pretty much add the, the mashed potato mix and stir it up. It's pretty pretty easy to prepare. Um, and then what we're gonna do is for the for the lemon chicken is we're gonna uh, get lemon and pretty much prepare it inside the pan first. Uh, lemon, salt, pepper, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I use. You know, just soak in there, steam, and uh, just kind of cook in its own juices for, uh, you know, 15 minutes or so, not really less. And then, um, yeah. It should be a pretty good little meal. Um, a little bit of time, not, not too much time, but uh, it's all worth it, you know. Uh, the chicken sells like five bucks, or maybe six bucks for that portion. You know, a box of mashed potatoes about a dollar fifty, and same thing for the um, the steamed vegetables, which I pretty much just threw in the microwave uh, in the bag. But what I did was in the bag, I threw some butter inside the bag, so when it's heating up, it kind of uh, heats up in, its, in itself. So it's kind of a good little, um, you know, flavor as it's getting cooked in there. So we'll throw that in there once it sets uh, uh, the steam out. All right, so we're prepping the pan for the, the lemon chicken. We put some salt, throw some pepper in there. I like to kind of wash the chicken, chicken off before I throw it in there. Just so it's a little bit uh, cleaner than just uh, having all that, uh, I guess, salmonella or whatever squeezes in there. And when I do a pipe, I'll turn this on so it's heating up as we're prepping it. A little, low meat. Medium low, start cooking, let it give it some time. We don't want to burn it. Uh, you know, the, the chicken is a little bit lighter, uh, lighter than the extra beef steak. Uh, so, we don't want to overcook it. Also, so. we'll finish prepping that and we'll, we'll come back. All right, so pretty much we finished uh, throwing the rest of the lemon in there with some seasoning, uh, salt and pepper, and I just do it with the lemon in it to kind of add to this juices. And we're just going to pretty much cut, uh, cover it up, let it uh, sit. And let it, uh, it looks pretty good. Like I said, I don't want to get it too hot um, or burn it. Water looks like it's already boiled, so what I'm going to do is uh, just add the mashed potato mix and pretty much just add to what you think you're going to feed, you know, with you and another kid, and you, you, you and three kids, um, so it fills up the water, and it uh, gets pretty thick, um, as you're mixing it around in the, in the, in the water, and uh, you, can, you can add more water, you can put up, if you want to put the water, kind of just mix accordingly, so that seems pretty, still pretty goofy, um, soupy. Turn off the heat and then we mix it in. I said I cooked it with the butter and already with the water. So you can just dump a blob of butter and already the mix mashed potatoes. And I threw salt in there too, you wanna to have too much soy in there. But just like just a little flavor. And then you can also add a side of um, gravy if you want, you know, chicken gravy, turkey gravy, whatever. Preference is like I'm gonna do that all now for this. 
for mashed potatoes, vegetables, and the, the, the chicken, the lemon chicken. So, good. It's something different, you know, a little variety, a little fanciness, instead of just a chicken burger and a uh, five dollar pizza, you know. It's seven bucks. So you can prepare it, get it nice. That's what it's in that for. A little thick, not too mushy, not too watery like the cafeteria food. A um, little thickness, you just got to stir. Let me take this up. Vegetables already came out, so they're pretty steamed, which is good. We'll let that sit there because it's pretty hot. And like I said, that, 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 it worked throwing the, throwing the butter onto the bag and it cooked it pretty nice. Um, in about three minutes. So it come out, that's it. It'll be hot. And it's good. Bro broccoli good for you, carrots are good for you, good for the eyes. Chicken goes good, protein, you know, and you can carve it up with the mashed potatoes. So this is like a beginner, beginner's meal prep. Um, and then compress it, you know, chick, um, family, cook for them, and then whip it up a couple minutes. Her, you know, it says it's a little bit different than eating out. And it's good, you know, once you cook it right, right, you know, you put some seasoning in there, some of the flavors. So it's pretty good. Good little bit. It looks you know, like a candy bag, it's quite a little thicker. And it's a more, a more flakes. I was saying if you taste it, you can, if it's missing any flavor, you can add, you can add some more salt, add some more, a little bit of butter in there. Uh, but like so most people will get gravy, you can just throw a little bit of gravy in there, depending on what kind of meat you have. You can add chicken gravy in this case. But like I said, lemon is already kind of giving it its flavor, so I, I, would, I usually just dip the chicken in the, in the uh, mashed potatoes and kind of like you know, make your own little style meal. Um, I think the gravy kind of kills the flavor of the meat. It takes away the tension of uh, the proportion of what we have going on here. So chicken is a chicken still cooking. You can see it's already pretty much almost done. Um, you know, chicken cooks pretty really, pretty fast. Uh, and these are already cut up, so they don't have to go through the thickness of uh, other meats that when you throw in there, it's uh, you know it has a heat up internally the whole thing, or else it's not cooked. Um, you know, evenly, thoroughly. So here you still see it's still, still pink. So you should just turn it over, kind of give everybody its rotation for cooking. And you gotta cut it. I mean, you can still cut a little bit more uh, from what it is, but you know, the, for the kids, you just it's already ready to go. You know, the, the peppers kind of put itself on the meat. Um, you can see the lemon throughout the whole pan. So that's kind of nice. And then now we'll be almost there. Like I said, the vegetables are done. All right, so we're gonna check in on the chicken. I think it should be pretty, pretty good now. Um, we'll let it sit in there and cook for a little bit, a little bit. I think everything's pretty much Cook thoroughly throughout the whole, uh, throughout the whole um, pan, and then uh, we'll turn it down, and then place it on the plate, and get ready to prepare it. Potatoes are done, and then the vegetables are done already. So looks looks good. 
All right, so everything came out pretty good. Uh, got all the meats out, uh, nicely cut up already. And then uh, this is how we prepare it to the kids. Nice mashed potatoes, vegetables, the meats. Good uh, different meal, healthy meal. About 20, 20 minutes or so, give or take. And um, yeah, something different. Hope you enjoyed any questions, concerns, hit me up. And enjoy. We'll see you next time. Peace out.